Today, I'm going to show you how to install at your home in Home Assistant to achieve a privacy-focused, ad-free smart home experience. And if you're ready, let's go. To get this working, first, we need to set an static IP address for our Home Assistant. For this, just go to my website and click on Show Network Configuration. Click on Open Link. And here, since I am using IPv4 for my local network, and probably you are too, just click on IPv4 and click on Static. It will be auto-completed like this, and if you know how to set a fixed IP address in your DHCP server, be sure to set a fixed IP address for this device. That way, you can avoid network problems in the future. If you don't know how to do that, your safest bet is using the last available IP address. That, in my case, and probably yours, it's the 254 IP. This way, it's less likely that some other device in your network will use the same IP. And then, just click on Save. And then restart home assistant for this go to developer tools click on restart restart home assistant and restart after it's finished go back to my website and now we are going to install the at your home add-on for this just click here click on open link then click install this is something that you want to be running 24 7. so we are going to check the watchdog option so if anything happens home assistant will reboot the add-on automatically Click on Show in Sidebar, and then just click Start. This add-on was created by Frank. I will put a link in the description to its GitHub page. And then just click Add Your Home. And that's it. To be sure that everything is working, just go to Setup Guide. And here, you need to verify that the IP address that we set in the beginning is in the list. If it doesn't appear, check the network configuration again, restart Home Assistant, then restart the add-on, and then check here again. And if everything went okay, we are ready to start the configuration. For this, just go to Settings and then General Settings. The first option will activate and deactivate the ad blocking protection. The second option allows you to use the AdWare Browsing Security Web Service. What this will do is check if the domain of the page that you are visiting is blocked in the Browsing Security Web Service. This is an additional service that aims to block malicious and phishing websites. So I'm going to activate it. The next one allows you to activate the AdGuard Padding Control Web Service. This service aims to block any website with adult material. The next one will enforce safe search in these search engines. This will filter any violent or adult content from the web results. Next is the log configuration. Here you can select to enable or disable the log if you want to anonymize the IP address of every client and the amount of days that you want to keep this information. You can also add some ignore domains to stay out of your looks. And at the end, we have the statistics configuration. This will allow you to show the statistics in the main dashboard. I will leave everything as it is. And now click on settings and click on DNS settings. Here we have the default DNS service that AdGuard is using. By default, there is only one, but we should add more here if we want to have more redundancy. For this, we can check the list of known DNS providers. Click here. And here you have a long list of DNS service that you can use. Just a heads up. For example, the AdGuard DNS default ones are already pre-filtered. This is great if you don't want to bother with filtering and all the configuration. But for example, it won't allow you to exclude some domains from filtering. So I would recommend you to use the non-filtering ones and always choose the encrypted options. That way the communication between AdWare and the DNS service will be encrypted. And then just copy the ones that you want to use and paste it on the list. Then you can change the way that AdGuard is going to choose which DNS service to use. I will leave load balancing as it will choose the fastest server on the list. And then to test if everything is okay, just scroll down and click on test upstreams. If everything is okay, just click apply. And that's it. Now go to settings and click on client settings. Here we can customize the filtering rules for every device specifically. For this, just click on add client. Here we are going to give it a name and we are going to add an identifier. I'm going to use my IP address. And at the bottom, I can customize the settings. For this, just uncheck this. And for example, let's say that I want to block domains, activate parental control, and activate safe search only for this device. I can also select here if I want to ignore this device from the logs and the statistics. I'm going to check this. We can also block a specific service. For this, just click here uncheck this and here we can select the services that we want to block we can also set a blocking schedule for this just click here and click on new schedule here we just need to select the days and the time where we want to deactivate the block 
and then just click on add schedule. We can even choose a specific DNS service for every device. We just need to add them here and then click on save. And that's it. You also have the option to use AdGuard as your DHCP server. For this, just click on settings and click on DHCP settings. Before you enable this, you need to be sure that you can disable the default DHCP server on your router. If not, it might cause collision problems. For this, just click on DHCP interface and we are going to select the one with our IP address. And now you just need to enter the settings. If you don't know what to put here, just use the suggestions in the box. And then just click on save. And now click on enable DHCP server. After you disable the one in your router and enable this, Adgar will be in charge of assigning the IP address to all the devices in your network. If you want to set a fixed IP for some device, you can do it at the end. Here, just click on add a static list, enter the MAC address, enter the fixed IP that you want the device to use, and give it a name. And then just click on save. And that's it. Now, every time that this device connects to your network, AdGuard will assign it this IP address. Now, we are going to adjust the filters. For this, click on filters and click on DNS blocking. This is our default blocking list. If you want to add more, just click on add block list. And here, click on choose from the list. And here we can select different block lists. First, we have the general ones. These are the ones that blocks tracking and advertising. Below that, we have other purpose block lists. For example, one that blocks all Google services and one that can block all Windows spirals. Under that, we have regional ones that are specific for different countries. And at the end, we have lists to block malicious phishing and scam domains. Select the ones that you want to use and click on save. And that's it. This will apply to your whole network. Now, you might be wondering what happens if you want to visit a site that is in one of these blogging lists. You have different options. If it's a one-time thing, you can go to dashboard and click on the server protection. But if you want something more permanent, just click on filters and click on custom filter rules. This might be a little confusing, but we have a lot of examples to use. If you scroll down, for example, if I want to unlock one domain completely, I can just copy this example, paste it here, and change the URL that I want. And then just click on apply. What this is going to do is unblock the access to google.com and all its subdomains. And at the end, you can check if the rule is working. For this, I'm just going to enter google.com and then just click on check. And if it's working, it should be green like this. You can also block specific services completely. For this, just click on filters and click on block services. This is the same list as the one that I showed earlier, but it applies for all your network. Just select the one that you want. Then I scroll down and click on save. You can also set a blocking schedule here. And the last feature that we want to talk about is DNS rewrites. For this, just click on filters and click on DNS rewrites. To explain what this does, I'm going to show you an example. I use Valetudo RE to control my smart vacuum cleaner and it exposes a website that allows me to control my vacuum cleaner. So if I want to control it, I just need to enter here, but I don't want to have to remember the IP address of my vacuum cleaner. So what I can do is go to AdGuard DNS rewrites, click on add DNS rewrite. Here, I'm going to select any domain that I want to use. And here, I'm going to put the IP address. And then just click on save. Now, if I go to this domain on my local network, it will take me to my vacuum cleaner. And that's it. You can use this to use any domain as your own on your local network. And now I'm going to show you how to configure your devices to use the Adgar Home service. If you're using Adgar as your default DHCP server, you don't have anything else to do. But if you're using the default one in your router, you will have to configure it to point to your Adgar DNS. For this, just click on Setup Guide and just copy the IP address. Here at the end, we have some instructions for the different devices. My recommendation is, if you are not able to use the default DHCP server on AdGuard, configure it in your router. That way, you don't have to configure it manually on every device. It will be automatically handled by your router. This configuration varies depending on your router's brand and model, so be sure to look it up. You will need a username and password to log in into your router and change the settings. If you can't do that, you can configure it manually on every device. For example, on Windows, go to Network and Internet Settings, click on Ethernet, scroll down to DNS server assignment, click on edit, 
and here we just need to paste our IP address and click on save. And now if you go to your dashboard, you can verify here if your device appears. And that's it. And now one last trick that I want to show you is how to use this with any device even outside your home network. Combining this with Tailscale, you can block ads on any device. For this, you just need to configure it on Tailscale. If you haven't set it up, check out my video. Now, go to your Tailscale console, click on DNS, scroll down to Name Servers, and here we need to add a name server. Click here, click on Custom, and we're going to paste the IP address of our Adler home. For this to work, your Home Assistant device should be advertising its subnet routes. If you want to activate this, just click in the three dots here, then click on Edit Route Settings, and select the subnet route setting. If you don't want to do that, you can simply use the IP of your Home Assistant device on your Tailscale network. And then just click on Save. Then click on Override Local DNS. And that's it! Now, every device connected to your Tailscale network will use your Adgar Home service. If you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be eternally thankful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!